Ready? But the, what did the Most High tell Ezra? He said, Thou art marvelous in my eyes, man. Okay? How does it go? It says, oh, let me see if I can get that. Yeah, man, because the Lord, the Lord knows his men, man. Okay. You know? And the scripture said, a uh, elect according to the full knowledge, man. So when the Lord made spirits, uh, namely Israelites, you know, it was just his will that you, 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 you are going to be elect. Not you, not you, you, not you, you know. And as the elder was saying, the Lord made it perfect that out of each tribe, we're going to have 12,000. So, yeah, good, good. You know? Now this is our, this is 2nd Ezra's, in fact, yeah, 2nd Ezra's chapter 8, verse 48. It says, um, in this, in this also, thou art marvelous, thou art marvelous before the Most High, in that thou hast humbled thyself, as it becometh thee, and hast not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. Okay? So, the certain spirits on earth that are marvelous before the Most High. The Most High, or, uh, or, uh, or, uh, or, uh, the Most High pretty much let Ezra know that you're marvelous, man. Okay? The Most High made uh, Ezra marvelous. This is our uh, verse 62. These, uh, these things, these things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times. For at what time thou hast not showed me? All right. So what did the Lord say? These things I will not show unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Okay? A few like thee, meaning the elect. The Most High doesn't show all his uh, uh, secrets to, to any, any anybody, man. Excuse me. Wow. Yeah, I'm stumbling. Yeah. Okay, okay. Said a, 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 unto you and a few like you, man. So show you that we're better than everybody, man. That's the, that's what part of being a prophet, knowing these secrets. That's a confirmation that we're better than everybody else. I've got to tell myself more because. Right, right, right. I've got to yeah, tell myself more that, man, that I'm better than people are. Because a lot of the time. I get involved with like, for example, women, and it's like, you feel like you're tending to their games. And I feel like, wait a minute, I'm a, I'm a son, I'm a, I'm part of the elect. Who the hell are you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Who do you think it's up? I should, I should be, you to, like, this, this raises our self-esteem, man. This raises your self-esteem. Brothers got low self-esteem. You know, you look at yourself like you ain't shit. You gotta read that scripture. You gotta read it. Let me read it again. Let me read it again. 2nd Ezra chapter 8 verse, let me start from verse 61. Now let me start from verse 60. But they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. So well, that's all these people are here, man. All these people have been, have defiled the name of him that made them by doing what? Calling on Allah uh, uh, Jehovah, because that's why it says in Revelations that what that my name and it's, it's blasphemed. All right, the tabernacle of the Mo of the tabernacle of the Most High is being blasphemed. Okay, and them that dwell in heaven are being blasphemed. It tells you that in Revelation chapter thirteen. So it says what? Right, verse sixty-one, and therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Alright? And a few like thee, man. So there's only a few of us, man. There's only a few. Give me um Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9. Um, you know, being better than people, 
This is John chapter 1 verse 47. Yahweh Shai saw Nathanael coming to him and saith of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no guile. And it says, Nathanael said, saith unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou wast under the fig tree, I saw thee. So Yahweh Shai just saw Nathanael and we just read that, yeah man, this is a, a good Israelite, man. You know, he's better than people. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai knew all men. He told you that in, in one of the um, Gospels, he said he knew all men and knew what was in them. Look, look, if I find that, can't Google it, it says, um, for, for he knew all men and what was in them. Alright? So I think, I think Yahweh Shai, he had x-ray vision, man. He could see, he could see who everybody was, man. See, I know that spirit inside of him. He's off your leg. Yahweh Shai had that x-ray vision, man. Yeah, yeah. He had that spiritual x-ray vision. He knew what was in people, man. He could read minds. I don't know. It goes uh, John 2 and 25. Uh, and, in, and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more, there's more. Alright. And it says, I'll read that again. So John 2 and 25. And needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. And it says, uh, there was a man of the fact. Oh, it talks about Nicodemus. No, 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 no. There's more. There's more. There's more. Maybe it's because he knew, he knew all men and what was in man. Let me read. Once it was war. Alright. Right. <laughs> The verse above, uh, John 2 and 24, says, But Yahweh Shai did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. Right. And indeed, and, ne so like, and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Yeah, that's right. So he said he knew all men. And he knew what was in man. So Yahweh Shai knew all men. So when he was on the scene, he knew all men, man. He knew, he knew every, he knew everybody. He knew all them spirits, man. He knew them all. You know why? Because he created them all. Mm. How you not gonna know a sign that he created? Mm. <laughs> That's right. You don't know, you don't know what you created. You know? Like you, you don't. You know? Yahweh Shai knew what he created, he knew all men and what was in them. Because what they say is that um, the most I know is that the hairs that's on your head, something like that. How does it go? Yeah. Yeah. He knows the hairs that's on your head. Yeah, so this is uh, Luke chapter 12, verse 7. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not nothing, ye are of more value than the sparrows. Yeah, yeah, read, read up a verse. We'll just get it in the actual Bible. Alright, so this is Luke. Chapter 12. I'll start from verse... 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 Uh, 5. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which have which he have killed Salakia. Fear him which after he have killed have power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. And not five sparrows sold to two farthings, and not one of them is forgotten by the father. But even the very hairs of your head are numbered. Okay. Read, read, read that, read that for our father. And it says verse 6. Uh, are not five sparrows sold for two farthings and not one of them is forgotten before the father 
Right. Right, right. And it says, verse 7, But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not therefore, for ye are more valued than the sparrows. So the, so the Most High, so the Most High knows you, and Yahweh Shai knows you too. Okay? He was able to point out, who is it he said, oh, was it, um, it says, is it, this is an Israelite in deep, what's his name? Uh, Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Nathaniel with no guile. Yeah. No guile, so he knew, he knew, he knew what was in him. There was no guile in him. Yeah. So he, Nathaniel was part of the elect. Yeah. He was part of the future kings of planet Earth, man. And Yahweh Shai knew, because Yahweh Shai created him. Yeah. How can you not know what he created, man? You don't know. Well, Second Ezra chapter 4, verse 3. Then said I, Yea, my Lord. And he answered me and said, I am sent to shew thee three ways and set forth thee similitudes before thee. Whereof, if thou canst declare me one, I will shew thee also the way that thou desirest to see. And I shall shew thee from whence the wicked um, heart cometh. And I said, Tell on, my Lord. Then said he unto me, Go thy way, and weigh me the weight of fire, or measure me the blast of the wind, right. or call me again the day that is past. Right. Then answered I and said, What man is able to do that, right. that thou shouldest ask things, these things of me? Yeah, but Yahweh Shah, he, he could weigh the wind. He could give you the exact grams, the kilograms, everything, man. He, he can, wait, read, read that again. Yeah, I wish I could do all of that, man. He could, yeah. And he said, Go thy way and weigh me the weight of the fire. Right, so Yahweh yeah, Shah, he could weigh a weight fire. He could, without even weighing it, he could tell you the weight of it. Yeah. Or measure it's me the block. 8.5 eight, eight, eight kilos, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, come on, come on. And it says, uh, or measure me the blast of the wind. Yeah, measure me the blast of the wind. So the wind you feel that blast, Yahweh can say, yeah, that was approximately 10.5. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh yeah. <laughs> can weigh the wind. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Or measure me the blast of the wind, or call me again the day that is past. Oh yeah, how is that do that? Yeah, how is that could have the power to call again the day that is past? He could do that. The scripture says, um, he that have the have faith like a mustard seed, um, could take could call this mountain, could remove this mountain, and nothing shall seem impossible, man. Yeah. So we could do that. And even in the time of Joshua, he had he had the sun up in the sky. For how for how how long? I, feel, I forget. I need to read up on that, man. He had he had the sun up in the sky, man. so he held the daytime for a long time, bro. Uh, so we gonna do that in the kingdom. So if you want Esau to suffer a bit more, we just keep the sun up there, man. That's right. Say it. No, man. You haven't suffered too much. You gotta suffer some more. We gonna keep the sun up there. That's right. <laughs> I've got, I've got the it. sun's not gonna set. For the next um, yeah. week. So that's a long last yeah. day. Imagine yeah. one day lasting a whole week. Because yeah. yeah. the sun hasn't moved. Yeah. Well, uh, this is Joshua chapter 10 and 12. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. Right. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their armies. Yeah, read that again, read that again. So this is uh, Joshua 10 and 12. Okay. And it says, uh, Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. Right, so the day the Lord destroyed the Amorites, before the children of Israel. Now the Amorites, they were Canaanites. Those are a, a main tribe among the Canaanites, which are Hamites. All right, and he said, and he said in the sight of Israel, son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, 
until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Right, so that's what we're gonna do, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. it's, it's, go on, go on. It's, it's, it's not this written in the book of Joshua. No. There was a book of Joshua, but we ain't got the right one. The one that's out there is not the real Joshua. That's right. And it says, So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day. A whole day. Oh. Uh. Good Lord, where? So, so we're, whoop, we're whooping, whooping that ass, man. We're whooping that ass, man. I got a pre that. For a whole day. Ass, man. For a whole day. For a whole day, man. It was just constant snore until we, until we completely put them down. Nah. We didn't go into the next day for a whole day uh, specified to whooping that ass, man. So we're going to do that in the kingdom. A whole day of fucking east man. That's right. You know, a whole day without the sun going down. Go on. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, James, pre preset to the, to the ark in there, brother. Go ahead. James 5, uh, 16 says, Confess your faults one another to one another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man alleath much. This is the point. 17. Elijah. I don't know how you describe How you explain that one? E-L-I-A-S. Elias? Elias. Elias. Was a man subject to like passions as we are and he prayed earnestly that he might not rain that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months but then it says that um the nation that don't obey us they're not going to get no rain in the kingdom of the nation try, try to get lippy and say we're not i'm not going to serve the how well, we, we're going to do what elijah did man no rain. and really i don't think we're going to be able we don't we need to ask you how uh, to do it because power is given unto us, man. So we're just going to naturally just do it. Okay? We're just going to make it no rain on them, man. And then watch how they cope. But go, so why am I saying this? I'm saying that nothing shall, give, give me that, nothing shall be impossible. Because you're reading, because you're reading the scripture now, weigh, weigh the wind and everything like that. Nothing shall be impossible. You have the faith of all. Yeah, yeah, but it's Matthew 17 and 20. It says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of you, it's like it, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have the faith as it's like it, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence yonder place, and it shall remove you, it's like it, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So we're gonna be able to remove mountains, man. We got a big. We actually doing that right now. Yeah, yeah. It won't happen. When we come out here and bring this word out, what we're doing is, is, is what we're doing is, is like if you read about you know, the wars in Jericho, yeah, 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 yeah. where um, the Israelites right. just talk about having fun. That's right. So it tells you that in Isaiah chapter 13. It says, um, shake, shake the hand, stand upon the, the mountain, stand upon the high mountain, exalt the banner. Alright, so that's what we're doing. We're actually destroying instead of consuming with the with the, the spirit of my mouth. Exactly. So that's what we're doing. We're destroying this 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 empire. We're condemning it. That's right. We're condemning it to an overthrow. The overthrow of Yahweh Shah is coming, man. 
We're saying, listen, this prayer, you, you people going to uh, uh, appoint time to do your wickedness before you get zapped by the missiles, by, zapped by the missiles and um, the, the, the lasers, man. So that's us raising up the banner, man. Okay. So we read that verse again. Uh, this is... Um Matthew, Matthew 17 and 20 It says, And Yahweh said unto them, Because of your unbelief, but verily I say unto you, if ye have as if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall exactly, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible. Let me say one thing, it said the faith of a mustard yeah, seed. What? Right. What? You don't even need much faith, man. Just to move a bag of mountain. That small, tiny little faith, man. You could be, yeah. Imagine if you had a mountain of faith. Imagine what you could do. You could swap planets, man. You could just like, and yeah, you, man, you gonna sit there. You gonna be there. <laughs> I got a precept. You know what I'm saying? You can switch mountains, man. You and know, change the temperature of certain planets, man. Yeah, and just to add a, just to add, just to line back what you're saying, that's what you're going to do. Why, why do you think it says in Luke 14? How the Lord said, um, I created all, what is it? I have, um, um, many there's many, many mansions. Yeah, many mansions. There's many mansions in my father's house. Right, right. And how, and how would you know if I've not told you about it? Right. So we're literally going to swap planets. That's right. what we're going to do. But we're going to do it in righteousness, though. Yeah. That's why the Lord is going to give the kingdom to us. Yeah. Because it's going to be our kingdom. How and in our kingdom, we're going to do what we want to do, it's but in righteousness. And how we get to the kingdom? Huh? By our faith. By faith. By faith. By that mustard seed. By that mustard seed. Nothing shall seem impossible. So we're going to be doing a lot of things, man. Okay? Because the most is going to be able to trust the kingdom, to entrust the kingdom to us, because our bodies would have been changed. Our bodies would have been changed. Sin, there will be no sin within our members. Sin would have been blotted out, man. All right? The, what does it, it say? It said the Lord will throw away our sins into the bottom of the sea. Something like that. I forget how, to, um, how the verse goes. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. The, the, the new covenant. Where well, the Lord is going to make us perfect, man. We're literally going to be in the image of our Father, man, in terms of our, our, our holiness, man. Be ye holy as I am holy. That's the image of the Lord, holiness, man. Righteousness, okay? But that holiness was through the, was through the law. That's how, um, that's what I said, um, the law is perfect and holy, converting the soul. So it says, be ye perfect like you, be, you, you like in, in old time before you have a shy, the Lord demanded perfection of us through the law. Okay? But it was impossible. The Lord, the most I found a fault with the first covenant. That's why he created a new covenant. Alright? Where we would be made perfect. Give me our first John chapter 3, verse 1. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1. Somebody get that. 1 John 3 verse 1. This is the book of 1 John 3 and 1. It says, uh, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, right, right. that we should be called the sons of the power. Uh, that we should be called the sons of God. Hey man, you brothers, you gotta have some self-esteem. I gotta have some self-esteem. Sometimes I feel lonely about myself, I'll keep it real. Where's, where? I'm a son of God, man. I was speaking with a sister about that last night. That I, I, was, I, said, I said to her that the so-called black woman, she doesn't know, she doesn't realize that the so-called black man is, a, is the son of God, man. That's why she's getting with Esau because she's been blinded. She don't know that the, her true husband is the son of God. You know, though, brother, based on the rest of the sit down you did, man, that sit down kind of like finalized everything. Yeah. About these um, so called black men out there. Like, they're just uncles. Yes. They don't get anything right now. Yeah. Well, forget about it. Forget them, man. No, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And, I'm not, and I'm not talking about the ones that are in the truth. 
Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm being talking about you know, yeah. these party systems. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're bugged out their mind. Bottom of the bowl. Bottom of the bowl. Yeah, this is Isaiah 40. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah 44 and 5. One shall say, I am the Lord, Yahweh. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the name of the Lord Yahweh and surname himself by the name of Israel. Hear that? So that's us becoming perfect, man, becoming the sons, being adopted again, receiving that adoption. Because the Most High cast us away because of our sins, man. But through our Savior, Yahweh Shai, through his death, through his bloodshed, man, we were reconciled, forgiven, man. Our transgressions were blotted out, man. We were purged. You get what I'm saying? Okay, they refuse food, what else can you do? Yeah. This is our 1 Corinthians 15, um, 15 and 19. If in this life only we hope in Yahweh Shai, we are all, it's lucky, we are, we are of all men most miserable. Verse 20, but now is Yahweh Shai risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. Right. For, the since, first, the first right. for since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Right. So, so Yahweh Shai made it all new. So let's go back to First John. So First John three and one. This is um, behold, what manner of the love, it's like what manner of, the, of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of the living power. Now listen carefully to this word. Therefore, the world know us, know of us, know of us, like that, know of us not, because because it knew him. Behold, now are we the sons of the power, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he like it, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, but we shall see him as he is. Right, so that's that's a perfect scripture says when he does appear, we shall be like him. We the elect, we're gonna be like Yahweh Shai, man, meaning we're gonna be perfect. When he shall appear, we're going to be like him because he's going to save us and then we're going to change in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, the, 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 um, the dead shall rise, man. Incorruptible. And this mortal must put off uh, mortality and, and receive immortality, man. This, this corruption shall put on incorruption. Then shall be brought to pass the saying, then shall be swallowed up in victory. <laughs> All right? You get what I'm saying? So that's basically what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen, man. Death is gonna be swallowed up for us as a people, man. No more cursing. That, that's when that's when the cursing will be. So but it said, um, what was I saying, man? So like I said, so that's what's gonna happen, man. The cursing is gonna be lifted up yeah. over us. And that's when the blessing is going to come upon us. The Most High's face will shine upon us again, man. As in times past, the Lord's face was hidden from us. Because his face is too, his eyes are too pure to behold iniquity. The Lord is going to behold his people, behold his trip. We're like dogs, we're filthy because of our sins. But the Lord took that away and forgave us. And the people, And when the Lord come back again, okay, and, and Yahweh Shai appear, that's when the Most High's face is going to make be made to shine on us again, man. And we shall appear, we shall be adorned, man. Adorned like a, a wife for a husband, according to Revelation 21. And we shall come down as new, be new Jerusalem, man, out of heaven, okay? Like a, like a, a prepared wife, man. We're going to be beautified in righteousness, likened unto Yahweh Shai in the image of our, our Father, to the point where we're going to be able to see the Most High. Imagine that, you can go on. This is um, it's like a Numbers chapter 6 and 24. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of the sons of Israel 
and I will bless them. But in the Hebrew, that word face is panya, which means presence. So we're actually going to be in the presence of Yahweh himself. Wow. Okay. Well, that's how, that's how holy we're going to be. We're going to be trans transferred from this corruptible, mortal rubbish here to a state of holiness and godliness, man. So our whole metabolism is going to change, man. We're going to see things differently. We're going to feel things differently. Okay? We're going to understand things differently. Okay? Our whole vibe is going to change, man. You got a piece of work. So Isaiah 60 and 21, it says, Thy people shall be all righteous. Right. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. You hear that? So, so we shall all be righteous, man. Okay? The laws is going to be in us. It's, the laws going to cause us just to naturally carry out his laws and commandments. We're just going to be like righteous robots, man. Just constantly executing righteousness everywhere we go. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and uh, start at 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. I already, trump. I already read that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Oh. Um, for the trumpet shall sound, the dead shall be raised and corrupt, and we shall be changed. For this incorruption we must put on incorruption, and the mortal must put on immortality. Right. So stop, stop there though. Um, Given the peace of this, nothing shall be impossible. And then go back to that scripture. The Lord way in the wind. I want to bring it all back to that. So this is pretty much how, okay, we're going to be made perfect. Okay? The Lord's going to give us some. That's why I said the Lord is going to give us the, we're the heirs to the kingdom. We're heirs to the throne. Alright? Because it's Yahweh Shah's kingdom. Alright? Because the scripture says he, he, was, he's, he was worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Every knee shall bow because what did he do? He, he died for the salvation of all existence, man. Pretty much. When he, he did die for the elect, but when you look at it from East, when you stand back and look what he really did, he saved everything, man. He saved the earth, he saved the birds, he saved the fish, the different species of animals, he saved the plants, he saved all flesh, man from the hands of the wicked, from the clutches of sin, man. He went up there and he, and he, and he destroyed it all, man. He ended it. That's why he said, it is finished. It is finished, man. It's done. Wow. Okay? Once the elected seal is finished, he, Esau, Esau can't do nothing. Once the elect has been forgiven, their sins has been blotted out, that's it. The Esau, Esau can't do nothing to us because we have to be saved. We have to be saved, okay? Because we're, uh, we, we're, we're like a lamb without blemish. The Lord can't destroy us because we, we've done, done nothing worthy to be destroyed. We, we've been forgiven. We've been pardoned through, through the bloodshed of Yahweh Shai. Right? You're going to take it about Hebrew. Who sign is not a man that he should lie, right? right? And also, the Lord has to keep our keep his own. In other words, to do the company. So we all died out. How could the Lord then be established the company? Exactly. You understand? So Satan was the, was the, uh, Satan was uh, defeated, man. I told you that in First Corinthians. What? No, he was But no, it was you. It was you, bro. It's Matthew's. Back in Matthew 17 and 20, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you. If ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say to, unto this mountain, Remove.